Hey, yesterday we reached 50,000 subscribers and over the course of time I've gotten a bunch of questions regarding my setup, which VS Code extensions and theme I use and how videos are made in the first place. So for this special video I thought it would be really cool to talk about those things because usually you don't get to see them in any other video. And for me most videos contain two parts. Videos where I only talk into the camera only have one part and that is me talking, but most videos have two parts and that is me recording on the screen talking about something code related and then filming the intro and the outro after filming the video content. And it all starts with these two 240Hz monitors. Trust me, 240Hz is worth it in my opinion. It's much smoother than a 60Hz monitor and that is where I record my videos. I set up the camera, I set up the lighting and then I also set up the backlighting so the background looks nicely lit when you look into the face cam. For the screen recording I use OBS and then for the audio recording I use Adobe Audition because I have a pre preset there that just sounds really crisp with my microphone, which is a Shure SM7B. As for my actual setup, it's a $20 cringe keyboard from Amazon and then also a very dusty old gaming mouse that is wireless though, and wireless is pretty nice to have. And while I do the videos, I have 12 extensions helping me do that. For example, Astro, language support for Astro, EJS language support, which I think is for JSX, I'm not totally sure, GitHub Actions, especially useful for NPM package development, GitHub Copilot to give me suggestions while I code as an AI helper, import cost to show me what each import costs to minimize my bundle size. So for example, these green things you can see right here is the import cost of each package. Then MDX, that is Markdown X, language support for that. That just allows us to import things inside of Markdown, adding that language support to VS Code. Prettier, all of you are gonna use this, all of you are gonna know this. Pretty TypeScript errors, so you can actually tell what the hell TypeScript wants from you when it errors. Prisma, I don't use it much anymore, but I used to, and when I get thrown into a code base that uses Prisma, this adds language support for the schema. Tailwind CSS IntelliSense, so when we hover over Tailwind classes, it shows us what they do. WSL that allows us to run a Linux terminal, a Windows subsystem for Linux inside of VS Code. And lastly, XML that adds language support for SVGs. So we can use Prettier in SVGs. And as for the theme right here under color theme, I'm not using the dark Visual Studio, the standard one, but one that has a bit more contrast. You can find that in here under Dark Modern. I just think it looks way cleaner than the other one. And after recording all that, I slap it into Premiere Pro and need to synchronize it first. And I do that by clapping because by clapping I can synchronize the audio to the screen recording to the DSLR camera that I'm recording the video with and that just makes it super easy to synchronize everything and then edit it all together. I mostly edit out some basic stuff like when I lose my train of thought, when I take a sip of water, nothing special and just make the video a coherent piece of video that people would actually find interesting and would like to watch and then that's pretty much the video. Now what's left is the intro. And for the intro you always see me just like this but technically you see me like this and I see you like that. It looks way different, it's just a camera. I don't even see myself in the camera. Um, you know, it's a bit weird, but you get used to it really fast if you do YouTube videos. Then I do the intro and the outro all together and can separate them later in Premiere Pro to put the intro part at the beginning and the outro part, if I even have one, I mostly do, at the end of the video. And then that's probably the full video. Maybe I do some post-processing in After Effects for like slick animations and whatever, but not always. And then that's the video done. So thanks again for 50,000 subscribers. I don't think it means too much. Subscribers is a pretty arbitrary number, but I appreciate every single one of you watching the videos. It really means a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.